What was in 17th water? Who were they fighting? Damn. <laughs> I am attacked. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm leaving this K pop life. Everyone, so today we're checking out the second part of the new 17 album. Um, at the time I'm filming this, only two of these songs are on the 17 lyrics channel. So two of them might have slightly wrong line distributions. I'm gonna go, I'm kind of gonna go with what the videos say, but in case it's incorrect, please don't get upset or like you don't don't worry about it <laughs> i can't remember their voices yet anyways because there's 13 of them and i'm not even good at that in groups where there are five members so you know um i'm basically i'm not gonna miss learn who it is based on these videos so don't worry about it too much and if i accidentally go with the wrong line distribution it's 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 okay don't don't worry about it but yeah, um, we have four songs left. The first one of which is Shadow. So let's hop right on in. Um, Domino and Don Quixote, Don Quixote were some of the best songs I've heard this year. So I can't wait to hear the rest of this album. Oh, okay. Electronic galore sounds like it's gonna be a bit more chill. Oh, Ooh, love this drum line. Gorgeous. I love the subtle rap. Like, I, not subtle, like, the increase of intensity itself isn't that severe, but the way that it hits all at once makes it sound like it's that much more severe, and I love that. Like that. The, the, oh, dude, gosh, everything that comes in there, I love it. I love the I love the added vocals. I love everything about that. Also, sorry about that honking. Filming during the daytime, am I right? <laughs> God, the, the, the softness, the softness here. <gasps> the transition. The, the, that like, boom. I feel like. I, that, that's not the first time I've heard Uji do that type of sound in this album. I, I, I assume it's Uji. Might be Bonzu. I'm not sure. Might be. It's one of them. Probably both. <laughs> I always assume it's Uji. Um, but uh, that's not the first time I've heard that in this album. And I love it. The gu acoustic guitar goes in. Ooh, the high note! I love the transition from the roughness of the vocal uh, of the rap line to a uh, hip hop line, I guess. Um, to the the vocal line, it's gorgeous. Oh, 
this instrumental. The rip up again. Oh, Chris. this song this song y'all can't tell but i'm like literally tensing up my entire body because that's how hard this is hitting me it's like i feel like this is going through every cell of my being it's so good it's so uh visceral it's uh and the lyrics too are so beautiful i just this is so good i'm getting tired from how hard that's cool. Cool. I love you so much. Oh. Okay. That's. Is that. <laughs> I forget how good of a rapper Dino is sometimes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's the reason for the yelly, beautiful roughness, my boy? Are you trying to attack me? <sighs> oh, that put me through it. Oh my gosh. If this album keeps going this hard, then I will be a puddle by the end of this video, and I don't know if I can take it. Whew, okay. Alright. Oof, okay. <laughs> that shut shadow us up there with the with, with Domino and Dunk. I can't say that song. DQ. I'm just gonna call that song DQ from now on. It's up there for me with double uh with Domino and DQ. Oh, if this album keeps being this good, like, what am I gonna do? Like, just I'm just gonna disintegrate. I'm just gonna disintegrate. Okay, next up we have about you. Okay, brighter sound. That baby. <laughs> His tone. <laughs> Those are yes. A song with my feelings and like them as the melody that's so cute. Pretty. 
Okay, this is so cute. That's so cute. This this is the type of song. I don't know why I keep imagining what what type of like performance these would be associated with. I guess it's because I have seventeen world tour on the brain. But this is the type of song that I imagine them to like play while they're like, I don't know, like either like on like those type of like carts that they wheel around through the audience or like going into the audience you know like the type of song they play where they just like kind of play around and have fun and it makes me very happy Also very summer, good feeling, good vibes. And it's such a perfect like description of like early love. So cute. Now, I'm not gonna lie, um, I think that song is cute, I like it, um, not sure if that one is one for the playlist yet, um, it's cute, but I don't know if that one is gonna end up being my favorite, um, I think I need one or two more listens to make up my mind about that one, because at this first lesson, listen, I feel like it might not be one for me as much but then that often changes with subsequent listens also i just listened to shadow that hit me so hard that um that song had a lot to go up against um but i still definitely definitely appreciate it for what it is okay all right next up we have if you leave me oh gosh is it gonna be a ballad we'll see um oh she worked on the lyrics and with quips and obviously Uchi and Bonsu. But I was I was I was surprised by the ho hoshi. I'm excited. Let's let's see. Yeah, sounds sounds like a ballad. Beautiful vocal tone. That's beautiful. Oh, which is so Showing off. 
beautiful. The way Ming Hao and Dino's voices work together there is beautiful. Also, I love, I love the lyrics of like, I know it won't happen. I know you won't leave me. But even just thinking about it breaks my heart. That's really, really beautiful. Um. Wonder. I wonder if it's actually just a love song or if it's maybe about either like the like kind of at fans or even at the group like I know we won't ever lose each other but even just the thought breaks my heart I don't know oh beautiful The way this is layered, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I, if you've been around on the channel, you know I'm not super crazy about ballads, so I was fully prepared to appreciate this song from a technical standpoint, but not actually want to listen to it, but I like it. Uh. That's gorgeous. It definitely does sound like it could also be. It, it could definitely be about like the group or fans as well. All of these, all of these, like almost like the, this, like almost call and response moment. Gorgeous, the the layering over each other, beautiful. This is so beautifully arranged, man. Bomsu and Uchi are so amazing. <laughs> Vocal layering, the harmonies. Also, these are combinations of voices that I would never have like thought of. I wouldn't have thought to put Coops with Song Kwang, that with Song Kwang, and like some of the other ones that were together earlier. I also wouldn't have thought to put Ming Hao and Dino together. But it's so, so, so well arranged. It's such perfect fits. I love it. <laughs> Usually, I, I, the thing that I usually complain about with ballads is that that um, often to me the instrumental feels kind of empty because there's not a lot of ha stuff happening with the instruments, and there wasn't a lot of stuff happening there with the instruments. There wasn't a lot of instrumental, but the vocal layering and the like, the way the vocals were arranged over each other and with each other, was so beautiful. The and like so intricate that it just completely um like made made any type of additional instrumental obsolete that was beautiful that was absolutely beautiful i think that's one of the m most unique ballads i've ever heard 
and I love it. Damn this album. Damn. What are, what are, what was in 17th Water? Who were they fighting? Damn. Okay. <laughs> so the last song is Ash. Um let's just stop right on in. I just I just I need a break after this cuz damn. Ooh. Ooh. And now we're going hard again. This electronic synth beat that's happening. That one specific distortion right before, like, that kicks in there, like that. At those beats that I'm. Indicating amazing. Ooh. And this like I don't know if this is actually it feels to me like this part that Mingyu is singing might be in a minor key, I'm not sure. But it feels kind of disharmonious. And I like it. What was the reason to put this after that ballad in the album progression? Like, damn. Yeah, Ash just, oh, that's gonna be left. He's singing about me and all that's left of me after this album. This sounds to me like a like fighting montage song. Like this is the song you you hear while the protagonist is getting ready to kick the main villain's butt. He's like going down into his lair, gear gearing up, like getting ready to kick some major ass. <laughs> Just men imagine sinister looking guy wearing a leather coat or something. I love I love these lyrics too. Oh, this hits though. This hits though. Oh, I like how like that how this this um No, no, is it a synth? I don't know. That that electronic pulsing sound um starts out like really like muffled sounding and becomes clearer and clearer as it goes on listen to that in the background it's so subtle and gradual Ugh. also the skirt skirts the problem is as, as, as an agassi 
is I can't hear skirt skirt and not think of bam bam. It's really an it's an illness. <laughs> I didn't realize how whipped for Koops I was until this video for some reason. I'm so whipped for Koops and his voice. Song Choi, I love you. So much. <laughs> The cadence. One more time. Mm. The like, contrast between the fast and the slow bits. Ugh. I'm emotionally exhausted in the best way. You know, I, I feel I feel like that was cathartic for me to experience. Like, like this album just put me through all the emotions, and I'm <sighs> I made a new in the image of seventeen. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just. I adored every second of 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 what I just heard in in different ways. I I love Ash is the kind of song like it makes me want to go kick someone's ass. For me, the highlight of those. Um, I mean, out of these four songs, I think I'm obsessed with three of them, which are "If You Leave Me," "Ash and Shadow." So we've got a total of what? Five? Out of seven songs from the album I didn't know yet that I'm obsessed with. And then Darling that I'm obsessed obsessed with and Hot that I, I love a lot. So um, I would say I'm obsessed with at least six songs for of out of nine. I think I, I would say they did all right. I would say I would say I would say. And after this comeback season, it's really getting tough for me to name even just a top five for album of the year because I want to put this up there too. I really think, really think this is one of the best albums I've heard yet this year. Ugh. But that's tough. There's so many. Oh, but this is this. Yeah, no, this, this this is definitely one of the best ones I've heard this year. So good. So good. What are your favorite songs of this album? Because I, I I'll eventually have to choose a favorite song of this album. Maybe by the time this comes out, I'll have one. Um, At this time, it is five. So. No, six. I forgot about hot because I didn't do it in this video um, or the last. Um, so h help me choose. I am starting streaming on Twitch every once in a while. I will be doing a lot of TXT to do and Stray Kids, but I also want to throw in a going 17 every once in a while because I love going 17, but it's hard for me to find time to watch them because I never do them on videos. So if you're interested in starting uh, in seeing me react to some going 17, check out my Twitch. It's in the description. I've also got an open server now where we can just hang out and chat, which is also linked in the description, as well as my Patreon where I do a ton of reactions just in general. <laughs> Let me know if there's any other 17 stuff you really want me to check out. I'm kind of gonna start um, exploring more of their like albums in general because I mostly know 
a lot of 17 title tracks and I've seen a ton of concerts but I haven't gone in and just sat down and listened to all their albums so if you want me to do that on my on, on my channel rather than in my free time let me know and yeah like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and as always I'll see y'all in the next one bye